I'm standing in front of Junod Watch Shop in Lausanne, and um, this place has been around since 1867. This uh, this family founded this watch shop and they used to make watches and they've always sold watches. Well, we had a little tour today of the museum part and also the watch store. It was given by a gentleman named Nicholas, who is like the great, 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 whatever grandson of the original watchmaker. And here's the catch though, he's dreamy. So when I interviewed him about the watch museum, <laughs> see? When I think about him, I hear bells. That's how the chemistry was with us. So um, when I watch this interview that I'm about to show you, I hope I'm going to be embarrassed to watch it because I'm practically swimming. We're here in Lausanne, and this is the Junot watch shop, and it's also a museum. And this is Nicholas Junot, who uh, ha you have watchmaking and watch selling in your blood, right? Many generations? Yeah, I'm from the fifth generation. Wow. Uh, this shop was. Uh, Founded by my great great grandfather in 1867, and so it was your idea to make the museum part upstairs. Yes, yes. we decided to make this five years ago. You can see the way how watches were made in the past. We can see the shop as it was in the 19th century. You can see the history of all the watch uh, industry in Switzerland and some very important collection of watches that you usually can see only in big museums. Yeah. Now, the Swiss are known for their watchmaking. What is it about the Swiss personality that makes them good for this job? Uh, most of the watchmakers, they, they come from the mountain. Right. And in the past, the 19th century, when you were living in the mountain here, uh, in the winter, during, from November yeah. till March, you had right. nothing to do because it was snowing, you couldn't drive, you couldn't, you couldn't go down in the cities. Right. So you were stuck in your farm, you, were grow, you, you couldn't farm anything, you couldn't right. grow anything. So that's when the, these people that were quite religious, you know, like right. Baptist most of the time, they couldn't do anything else than... Uh, and do something with their hands. So they develop the skill. So that's where uh, this tradition comes from. Now, are Swiss people known for being on time? Because in, this, in the United States, we say if somebody's on gay time, that means they're 15 minutes late. But it's not a gay time? Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, it's, he must be on gay time. It's because you, uh, it takes time to get ready. Right? Okay, in Swiss, do we have this problem, or is everybody on time? In the gay life? Or yeah, in the, in the gay life. <laughs> if I can say that. So. Yeah. In the gay life, uh, I'm personally very... Uh, Precise, on time. Because Thank it's, you. It's it's <laughs> it's my, it's rude. For my it's reputation. Rude, right. I have to. You have to keep up your reputation. I yeah. You can't be the watch guy that always is late. Oh, I cannot. Different houses, family houses. So if you come here and you have any clue that you are gay, and you tell me that you are gay and you come from the side, you get. Around 10% discount. Really? Additional 7% for the tax free that I will give you right away in the shop. Really? If you come and say you saw this on a yes. traveler, but did we get that? I think, I think everybody knows in this city that I'm gay and that right. I run this shop. So right. It's like this. Awesome. And you also probably know all the places to go, too. Uh, in Lausanne. Yeah. yeah. There's not, that not, many. A, not, not that many. Uh, right. The big parties are the jungle parties. Right. And the foam party. And the foam party on the 31st of July is quite famous. Yes. yes. And that's an important date for you, I understand. So it's my birthday. So you said it's a your birthday at home. No, because I, I try to make some, yeah. some invitation at home. Right. But at noon, everybody is going. No, at, at, at midnight, everybody is going out of my party to go to the, the, the foam party. So I can't even have you can't a big win. party for the whole night. Right. But I'm perfect. With that's that okay. Because I have a good excuse to go on. Dance in the phone. <laughs> That's right. Oh, I've always wanted to. I'll have to come back and do that. You should. You should come. Right. You should come. It's really special. And very nice. Now, are you see, single? In the you said, no, I'm not. So you've got a partner here. I have a partner. Nice. For Fifteen years now. That's wonderful. Is he on time too? He's very on time. Uh, yes, he's quite on time. That's good. Yeah, yeah. You trained him well. No, I didn't. <laughs> Came that way. He trained me. He trained you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you have to come and see this uh, this place if you ever come to the sun. It's wonderful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It's nice talking to you. See you. And another cute thing I heard about um, 
Nicholas, is that if you register as gay domestic partners in Switzerland and you buy rings here, you get um, you get a 10-year guarantee. So if the uh, if the marriage falls apart within 10 years, you can come and get your money back. And that's because you know what? That's because Nicholas believes in love. Uh, he doesn't believe in love with me, but um, we're working on it.